Hey guys, I just made an Udyr guide where I briefly mentioned the Zizirot portal. I didn't go into too much depth, but I think it deserves its own guide because a lot of strategy goes into just using the Zizirot portal correctly. And if you use it correctly, you could have a huge impact. I think it's really underrated. So what is it? It's a two and a half minute cooldown that allows you to place the Zizirot portal that will spawn these minions and the minions will go to the nearest lane and attack enemy minions. It's sort of like a split push without a risk of dying. It's gonna force the enemies to decide to either clear that ZZ rot or stay grouped because either decision they pick, you're gonna be able to capitalize and exploit that. So now let's take a look at the actual stats that it gives your champion. It's a really tanky item. You get 60 armor, 60 magic resist, and 125% base health regen. If you want to compare this to Guardian Angel, you can see that they give you, for about the same price, they, get, they both give you 60 armor, 60 magic resist. Of course, this one has, you get health regen and you get movement speed. That passive point runner says builds up to 20% movement speed over 2 seconds while near turrets and fallen turrets. So in other words, if you're in lane chasing someone or maybe team fighting in lane, then you're going to be faster. So there's one more thing to note about the item description. We look at the very last line, it says the first and every fourth void spawn gains 15% of maximum health as damage. So if you have more health, your void spawns are going to be doing more damage and they're going to be pushing faster. If you're playing a Sinner Hulk jungler, that's obviously the best case because that's how you can get the most health is with Sinner Hulk. If you had about 6,000 health end game, let's calculate how much damage our void spawns are going to have. So 15% of that equals 900 AD and 900 AP that your Void Spawns are going to be getting on top of their base amounts. And that is enough to one-shot a Siege Minion and enough to do a lot of damage to a tower. Aside from building health, I would say it's also important to be playing a Mobility Champion. You need to have some way to get away from your Zizirot after you place it. Because the main idea is you want to have your, your influence in two places at once. So you drop your ZZ Rot, then you, you want to either run to a different lane or teleport to a different lane or start a team fight somewhere else. So let's talk about ZZ Rot placement. This is probably the most important part of the video. So Void Spawns only are going to travel a set distance before they die on their own because their health is going to decay over time. So this red line here shows you the distance that they can travel before they die. I tested this out in a custom game by putting a ZZ Rot at my inhibitor tower and seeing that they died exactly at the outer tower. It's important to know that maximum distance because when you're trying to take out an enemy tower, you want to put your ZZ Rot in that lane as far away from that tower as you can and so that the enemies have to go further out of their way to go kill that thing. And if they do, they will be overextending and you can have a chance to kill them. So if you're trying to kill this tower in your blue team, I would say, I mean, of course you always want to put the thing in a bush so it's harder to see. So you would put your ZZ Rot probably in this bush right here. Because then if you're on the red team, you have to go into the enemy jungle to kill that thing. Then in order to get this tower, I would say put your ZZ Rot right at the end of this bush. And if you're trying to kill inhibitor tower, this will no longer reach. You got to move it up to the tri bush up here. Now, if you're trying to take out top lane, and remember, never put the ZZ Rot mid lane. It's just going to be an easy target. The enemies are going to kill it really fast. So, if you're trying to kill this tower, you could put your ZZ Rot in your tri bush over here. That's a really hard spot to reach for the enemy. If you're trying to get this tower, I would say you just put it at the end of this bush. If you're trying to get the inhib tower, um, this is no longer going to reach. You got to put it right here. Every two and a half minutes when your ZZ Rod is off cooldown, you need to have this thought process. First, decide whether you're going to be ZZ Rodding top or bot lane. And you want to attack whatever lane is the easier target. So if you have this lane only has the inhib tower up, um, this lane still has this tower. This tower right here is going to be our target. That's why we're going to run all the way up here. This is why it helps to have mobility. So if we're trying to take out this tower, I think our 
best spot to drop the portal max range would be right about here sweep that bush if it's clear drop the portal and teleport somewhere else now what the enemies see they don't see anything suspicious top lane but they do see that big teleport icon on the map so we're just going to be focused on the garen that just teleported to their lane that's the most pushed you can just push this Meanwhile, your team is just going to be doing whatever. It doesn't really matter what they do. Now, you can just push as hard as you want and just try to keep enemies over here as long as you can because over at top, that ZZ Rot is going to kill that tower. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you liked and have fun climbing ranked.